everyone, we're back in the Let's Go Design studio to kick off our first project, the Ultimate CAD Chair. It won in a close vote against the Trailer Hitch Workbench. We're going to give ourselves five episodes to design, test, and build. In this episode, we'll start to bring this project to life, looking at 2D sketches all the way through to conceptual 3D design in SOLIDWORKS. Okay, every project should have goals and objectives. In our case, I put together a small list here for us to go through. Number one, let's keep it clean and functional. Number two, this chair should be comfortable. Adjustable, very important, easy to assemble, and most importantly, in this chair, feature rich. I've already read the posts and the discussions online. It's clear to me we have to go even beyond the ultimate CAD chair. We've gotta build the ultimate office environment, and that's what we're gonna do. Cube farms aren't exactly the most exciting place to spend your entire day. Even if you had a comfortable chair, you are stuck in a cube all day long. I know we could design something better than this. We should design something better for this. All right, let's talk about features in this ultimate office environment. I just want to call out a couple of comments that were submitted on the website. Brian M. suggested we put a motion sensor inside this chair. John M. suggests that we encapsulate the chair with some sort of sphere. Mayari suggested that we build this entire project with recyclable materials. All right, tons of great ideas, keep them coming. Next up is sketches, let's go do that. All right, so here's some early sketches of what this ultimate office environment could look like. Whether we have doors that open up, whether we have you know, a chair that's fixed in the middle or offset, do screens pop out of the desk or do they float above the design? So this is a great first step, but it takes a long time to come up with uh, hand sketches. And really, if we jump into SOLIDWORKS, we can spend a lot more time being innovative and get a lot more of these ideas brought to life. All right, here we go inside SOLIDWORKS. I've got three scanned views I want to use. I've been able to take a front view sketch and put it on the front plane. Pretty simple enough. Gives us a sense of where this entry point might be. I've also been able to import a left view sketch on the left plane and it'll give us a sense of possibly some side windows, what the walls would look like. And of course, to finish it off, we would need a top view to give us a sense of you know, where or how this chair might rotate around a center point and not run into the wall spaces. Now, of course, with SOLIDWORKS, the best part is turning all of everything into 3D. One thing those sketches didn't really do was talk about the chair itself. And what we really want to do is see what that chair looks like inside this ultimate office space. We're getting a sense of what this environment could look like. Chair in the middle, sitting on top of a floor. It's able to rotate around. Pretty cool. Desk can come in and out away from you. Monitors up above. This just gives you a rough idea of where we could go with the design. Unbelievably cool. All right, it's time for us to vote. And clearly, we have a space issue inside this environment. You can only put so many things inside and around the chair. So what I want you to vote on is, should we include an extra chair, or should we include an extra work surface? In the meantime, I'll put some files up on the website for you to download and check out. As always, keep your comments and ideas coming. <laughs>